No pain, no gain. That's what they say, right? In the world of contact sports, every hero feels the bumps, bruises. Those consequences in betting like a grass stain. 84% of concussions go undiagnosed every single year. Curtis Sluice is CEO of Brightland. CDC calls it a silent epidemic. His indie-based company is on the cusp of bringing new concussion tech to parents and trainers on the sidelines. Patient shows up, what do they do next? The team's medical staff begins asking the player a series of questions. Do you know where you are? Looking for cognitive function, emotional function, physical function. Do you know who you are? Then comes the flashlight. And one of the first things they look at is the eye. Open your eye up a little wider. Enter reflex, right lamp's answer to the concussion test. Bring the right eye into view. Sluice and his crew saying initial concussion questions can be beat especially factoring a player's will to compete. Recent publications show that they're about 50% accurate. You'll hit next. Their app raising a cell phone camera and light to a player's face. Iris constricts and then redilates because of a flash of light. Test goes for five seconds. You, you can't trick it, right? You can't say your pupil is not going to expand and restrict, constrict to the degree that it does. It just happens. The eye video is uploaded to their server for analysis program looking for pupil dilation speeds. This is how the pupil is constricting. Uh, this is at its peak. A person with a concussion will have slower reactions and less dilation. This would be much bigger for a person who's concussed. Their program relaying this info back to the app in seconds, even identifying weak, less obvious concussions. Our target market is where this problem is rampant, which is high school athletics, middle school athletics. Just this week, a Georgia team died from a head injury on the field. 16-year-old Dylan Thomas passed out while being evaluated on the sideline, waking up only to mutter, I can't feel my body. Yeah, the common misconception is that it's one hit and you got a concussion. Game footage showed no key impact. Um, that is not the case. Yeah, I think it can be a series of tiny hits that lead to overall cognitive decline. Dr. Jeffrey Raskin is a pediatric neurosurgeon at Riley Children's Hospital and a former collegiate football player. Running through the line, getting hit by a linebacker, knocked out cold. Dr. Raskin suffering his own concussion in high school. Cognitive clouding, memory problems, uh, emotional ability, uh, never any physical problems. He calls reflex a fancy pupillometer and a good screening tool, but questions its ability to diagnose. To use it exclusively, uh, you'd have to make sure that the data that it was created upon is uh, vigorously uh, tested. Sluice says it's currently going through a clinical validation period at IU Health which is part of the process for FDA approval that will let the app deliver diagnosis to consumers, however, in a month. So physicians can download it, sign up, and start using it in their clinic. This other version of the app working as a tool for doctors to make their own diagnosis. We want to put health care in the hands of, of everyday people. Soccer moms and dads who want their kids to score on the field and in life. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan. Fox 59 News.